Assalamu alaikum, strong believers. This is Malik Pai, and today we'll be talking about a very important topic, shirk, topic of shirk. What does shirk mean? A lot of you might translate that as idol worship, and um, uh, there's a huge chance, just me hanging out with a lot of Muslims, even the religious ones, in one way or form, we are committing shirk, and it is a sin that Allah will not forgive. So. Make sure if you want to benefit from this uh, topic, you got to watch the whole video. If you have, haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do that and uh, hit the bell icon so you will get notification of as new videos come up. All right, let's get started. What is Shirk? mean we'll get a little bit more detail about it we'll even talk about minor shirk and major shirk um, and there's a huge chance that we will be committing it it's the mindset that my goal is uh, um, to set you know what's the what's the mentality we need to have it's you know I will never just by you watching these videos you're not gonna I can't force you to do something but my goal is to make sure that at least we're thinking straight about different topics and 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 clear some of the misconceptions because sometimes uh, we are raised in our culture and throughout our lives we might be learning something about Islam and, and, and it might be a total um, wrong information or knowledge that we were given uh, or a concept about a topic. So let's clarify a little bit about shirk. What does it mean? You might think the shirk is idol worship and then you'll say, well, I don't have an idol in my car or in my house that I go and bow down to so I might not be committing shirk but what does shirk mean uh, just like in our uh, previous videos if you haven't seen the one Islam in a nutshell I talked about what does Islam mean um, and uh, which means uh, submission same thing with shirk uh, you might hear the word mushrik Arabic has a lot of words that are dry from another word and could have happen even in in uh, in English as well um, so, um, uh, let's look at the word shirk. In the word shirk, you might hear the word mushrik. A mushrik is the person who commits shirk. And so what does shirk mean? And it's, it's actually including someone in, in, in a matter, in, in, in your daily affairs and so on. You're including somebody, involving somebody as a, call it a partner, right? So. Uh, when you think about the word partner uh, and including someone in the in Allah's his his lordship, right? You would say, okay, that is committing shirk. Now, uh, when it comes to um, uh, worshiping Allah, uh, I want you to understand three concepts, and we'll talk more detail about that in the topic about tawhid, which is the oneness of Allah. Right now, we're talking about anything other than oneness of Allah, because you, you basically it's more than one. You got to realize that monotheism, right? Monotheism, uh, it's the English that, word that we use, is uh, basically having one God. And Christian and Jews claim that they are worshiping one God. But we say that Islam is truly the one monotheistic religion that's out there. Uh, it's, it's the only faith that believes in Allah without associating any partners that know uh, basically middle partner between the worshiping Allah SWT, between worshiping God. Uh, most of the people in the world, and I talked about this before, that most of the people in the world do believe in God, including the disbelievers in the time of Prophet Muhammad SAW. They believed in more than, uh, in, 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 they believed in Allah. They believed in Allah. They believed that he's the one who gives life and he gives death and, and all that. But they had set up partners. So if you say, I believe in Allah, that's Tawheed, that's oneness of Allah. And yes, he's the one who gives life and he gives death and I'm not committing shirk, that is not true. Because then it's the next step, okay? So yes, you got the you, you got the concept, yep, I believe in God, done. That doesn't mean that you're safe from shirk. Let's move on. How about his lordship, okay? So uh, when it, what, that, what that means is, is when it comes to setting, uh, doing different rituals, different worship, praying for uh, praying in the for the sake of Allah um, uh, you're um, uh, fasting for the sake of Allah your actions right uh, let's say you're, you're going to say I'm going to slaughter this um, uh, this this goat and all for the name of so-and-so idol okay uh, bec why because this idol is going to talk to Allah on my behalf 
Uh, and that's the, the mindset. You know what? I know I'm a bad person. I can't face Allah because I'm scared uh, and you'll never forgive me. So you know what? I'm going to go talk to these idols. And, and you set these idols just as, a, as an excuse to say, you know what? Uh, they're going to talk to Allah on my behalf because, uh, you know, I, I'm such a big sinner. I can't talk to Allah. But Allah wants you to talk to him directly. We'll be talking more about that in the topic about dua. Uh, how do you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh, how do you pray to him and so on? So it, once again, just a reminder, if this is one of the first times you're here, hit the subscribe button so you uh, get notification of the future videos. So uh, shirk is one. So one aspect is is, is in, in oneness of Allah. You believe that there's one one God, but then if you start saying, no, he has some partners, that's shirk. If you are worshiping Allah, but you also start worshiping other things as well, that's also shirk. And then the, the, the third one is giving some, some of the powers, right? Like the attributes and um, that Allah has. For example, Allah is the only one who has the knowledge of unseen, of future. So you go to these uh, um, palm readers and this is not just something happening back home in India, Pakistan or in, in Middle East, but this is happening in like Wall Street. Now you're talking like uh, one of some of the most expensive real estate out there you, um, in, in major downtowns or anywhere in America, Canada or, or in Europe. You will see there are places where you go to and they will re flip some cars. They read your palm and they tell you about future and uh, what's happening in your life and so on. Of course, they're making up stuff, but people start believing in that. And that, of course, is shirk as well. So I talked about three types of shirks. These could be in the form of belief that, yes, there's more gods than Allah. This could be in the, uh, the form of actions, such as you slaughtering something not for the sake of Allah, but for somebody else and uh, distributing the meat to uh, to people on behalf of so and so idol and it could be in the form of words you could say i swear by allah and so and so that could be also a form of of shirk belief your actions and your words you got to be very care careful of what you're saying you know what your beliefs are what your mindset is about uh that are you including anyone in remember the three things um, which is believing that in, in, in Allah's Lordship, there's only one God, there's no other gods besides him and worshiping him, you're worshiping him directly, not anybody else in between. And, uh, and also believing that he has some qualities and attributes that nobody else can have. But if you say, no, so-and-so has that, such as that palm reader has knowledge of unseen, uh, then you have committed shirk. So, uh, just remember the, this, this is, so scholars have divided uh, the the concept of oneness of God into three things. So lordship, his worship, and his qualities. Make sure you're not committing shirk in any way or form in any of these. Remember, if you, it's not like all three have to match. Even if one of these categories are, are being, uh, uh, you're breaking any rules in any of these three categories, you've committed shirk. And at the same time, think about it's not just about your actions, but it could be your words, it could be your belief as well. And, and you, you, you could be accountable for that. So remembering that, that's the, the shirk in a nutshell. But now let's talk about minor shirk and major shirk. Now, I want you to understand that when I say minor, don't think ah, it's light. No, it's not. It's something, you know, we don't have to worry about it. Let's just only worry about the major, major shirk. Minor is still, is still a major sin. Okay, it's still a pretty big sin. But in the category of shirk, which is so big, mine, some, some things are considered minor shirk and some things are considered major shirk. Uh, so let me talk about some of the, the minor shirk that you could be doing. Major is an obvious one. You create an idol and you say, this guy is going to uh, protect me and talk to Allah and, and, uh, and I'll be saved from, um, from his, uh, his wrath and, and so on. And he's going to provide, he's going to ask Allah on my behalf. That's a major, major one. But I want you to understand about the minor one, which is not just something happens back home, but even in our corporate life. OK, for example, hey, oh man, you know, I'm getting late for the meeting. Hopefully uh, the boss uh, is not there. Knock on wood. You hear that a lot. Knock on wood. No, that's that is shared because what you're saying is if I knock on wood, all this bad luck will be uh, warded off off of me. Uh, that is a minor shirk and it's still a major, major sin. It's something you've just already, you're believing that 
that uh, uh, some guy's not going to show up because you're knocking on, on wood. Uh, you wearing some some strings as 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 good luck charm, right? Um, uh, Christians have uh, the biggest talisman uh, in the Christian world is uh, cross, believing that this cross will protect you, uh, and and that's something that is um, that is of course part of the the sure category. Uh, believing that uh, if you're driving and guess what, a uh, black cat crosses your path, oh, I can't, I gotta go turn around because that's gonna bring me bad luck. Those are also considered minor shirk. And these are anything that will take you to a major shirk. Something that you wanna be careful about. So very high level, shirk is associating partners. Now that partnership doesn't have to be in the sh shape of idol, but it can be in the shape of your belief, your of course your actions and your your words and um, and it can it ha it can happen in uh, believing in his lordship meaning there's only one lord and uh, there's no lord besides him if you are breaking that rule uh, meaning there's more gods than than Allah then you have break, broken that rule you in in his worship if you start worshiping doing different rituals which Allah has not taught you and you're doing different things for example. Hey, I'm going to go. So I was at a, at this church just visiting in Montreal. And I remember uh, a lady is uh, basically uh, climbing the, the stairs on, on, her, on her knees. Why? More pain, but the better. And this will forgive my sin. Well, did God really want you to do that? Uh, some uh, people sing and dance for the sake of God. And, and they say, yeah, this is worship. No, nope, it's not worship. Did Allah want you to sing and dance? In the, even though it makes you feel good and so spiritual, don't do it if Allah doesn't want you to do it. So you doing any acts of worship that Allah doesn't want you to do, or you doing it for somebody else other than Allah, you've broken the 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 second category of uh, uh, worshiping, um, you know, shirk in his worship. And then the third one is uh, believing in the attributes of Allah. And I gave you one of the examples: is Allah is the All Knower. He is the no. He He knows the unseen. He knows what's going to happen in the future. But believing that somebody else also has those powers besides Allah, then uh, that's also not, um, that you're also breaking their rule and you've committed shirk. So major shirk, minor shirk, what does shirk mean? And, and the, the different three t categories of uh, uh, tawheed, mean, and which we'll talk in, in future. Um, uh, you, if you broke those categories, you've committed shirk. Now, I mentioned that uh, this is one of the sins that is not forgiven. So... What does that mean? If let's say you were wearing these, uh, uh, you know, talismans and amulets and strings, and and now you take them off, does well, Allah is not going to forgive you? No. If you die in the state of committing shirk, then then Allah will not not forgive you. But while Allah has given you this life, which you never know when is going to end, make sure you stop doing these things. Pray to Allah alone. Ask Him for forgiveness, and uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa taala make all of us. You know, guide guide all of us to the straight path and uh, keep us away from these major, minor shirk, any form of shirk. Most importantly, most importantly, is the sin of showing off. Prophet Sallallahu actually said that, you know, one thing that I am very uh, afraid of, very fearful for all, all of you Muslims is the, is the minor shirk. And Sahaba asked, what is minor shirk? And Prophet Sallallahu said, it is showing off, meaning you doing things to please somebody else. Could be your mom. You know what? I'm going to pray just to please my mom. But no, uh, you should be praying only for the sake of Allah, not for your mom or dad or, or anybody else. So if you did something for somebody else, even if it was the way Allah wants you to do it, you're praying exactly how you, how you should be praying. But inside, you're doing it to show off to others uh, or, or impressing somebody else then you have committed a minor shirk. And on the day of judgment, you'll come to Allah and say, look, Allah SWT, I, I did all this, I prayed, and Allah SWT will say, nope, you didn't pray for me, you prayed for so-and-so. Go to that person and ask them for your reward, and they will not be able to reward you with anything. So let's only worship Allah alone, without any partners, without associating any, any partners or, or doing any kind of shirk, major or mi minor, and uh, and uh, make sure we ask for forgiveness and, and make sure any action that you're doing, you're doing it for the sake of Allah. Let's not do it to show off to other people. Do it for the sake of Allah. This is Malik Bai. Stay strong. Inshallah, we'll see you next time.